Hello viewers, I will narrate this book, Leading a Spiritual Life by Molana Vahiruddin Khan. A spiritual person is like the flowers that can live with fragrance in the neighborhood of thorns. This book has seven sections. I will narrate section one, Spirituality in Daily Life. This has 31 chapters. The Tree, a silent speaker. Learn the art of conversion and the whole world will become a means of spiritual food for you. Everyone likes a house surrounded by green trees. Verdant foliage beautifies our world. It is this idea that has brought farmhouses, houses, in gardens, into being. But it is difficult to find anyone who is able to listen to the silent message of the trees or who tries to adopt the culture of tree in their own life. The culture of planting trees is widespread, but adopting the culture of the tree is seldom in evidence. Trees beautify our homes but they do not beautify the person living in that house. A tree lives in the same world as the one which we live in, but there's a difference. People's lives are marred by tension, malice, hate, and violence, whereas all these negative features are totally missing from the tree culture. Human is like a walking tree, but failing to follow the culture of the tree in their own life. Trees share our world, but while for a man, this world has become a source of complaint, hate and stress, the same world has a very different meaning for the tree. The beauty we see in the tree has come from this very world. It has not been imported from outer space. How was this possible for the tree? The reason is that the tree, by nature, has adopted the art of conversion, converting things to one's own advantage. What does a tree do? It takes minerals and water from the soil and converts them into food for itself. The tree, through the process of photosynthesis, takes light energy from the sun and converts it into chemical energy, which is then used to fuel its activities. This is the result of the art of conversion. In doing so, every tree gives a silent message to humans. Learn the art of conversion and the whole world will become a means of spiritual food for you. Make the whole world a global source of your personality development. You will be able to live in this world as a complaint-free person. For example, if someone says something that goes against what you think or what you believe, then turn it into a point of discussion. If someone speaks ill of you, then make it a source of self-discovery. If you feel you're discriminated against, then draw the lesson from this instance that you need to develop in yourself that missing quality on the basis of which you have been discriminated against. If someone provokes you, you should diffuse the issue through unilateral avoidance. If someone makes you angry, you should calm yourself down by forgiving them. If a person differs from your point of view, then enter into a discussion with them and thus increase your intellectual development. There's a story that tells us that once someone hit Lord Rama with a stone, in return, Rama embraced that person and in this way made the throwing of a stone a means to inculcate in them a positive quality, that is, 
love for humanity. This story teaches us a lesson how to adopt the culture of the tree in one's own life. If you throw a stone at a tree, it will give you a fruit in return. This is the highest kind of positive behavior. By adopting this positive behavior, you can make the whole world turn in your favor just as the tree does. Everyone is free. This free culture has filled the world with differences. It is these differences that lead to negative thoughts about others. Then what is the art of living in such a situation? It is in some way or the other to convert every difference into something positive that will be in your favor.